All right, let's talk about the Cincinnati Bengals. Obviously, this season has not gone the way anybody expected when it comes to this Bengals squad, and a lot of blame has fallen on headman Zach Taylor, a lot of it rightfully so. And know a lot of Bengals fans out there, we hear from you guys, you want Taylor gone? Well, I got news for you guys, probably good news for you guys. The latest reports out of Cincinnati are a key indicator. I think Zach Taylor is 100% done as the head coach for the Cincinnati Bengals. We've got some reports to back it up. But first, I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, the Cincinnati Bengals team, despite having Joe Burrow playing at an MVP level, Hendrickson playing at a defensive player of the year level, and Jamar Chase being arguably the offensive player of the year, they are where they are in the standings, right? Outside the playoffs, losing record. Things have gone poorly for the Bengals record-wise this season. A lot of the blame has to be on head coach Zach Taylor. And based on some reporting and kind of reading between the lines, I think the end is nigh for Taylor as the head man for the Cincinnati Bengals. You're starting to see the indicators of desperation of a guy who's on his last leg and he knows it. Let's pull up this first article that I think should really get your blood boiling if you're a Cincinnati fan. This is courtesy of NBC Sports. The Bengals returned from their bye week to find a change to their locker room. Ping pong tables that had been a fixture in past years had been removed during offseason renovations, but they are back for the final weeks of the regular season. Head coach Zach Taylor explained that the decision was made to foster a higher level of interaction among the team's team's players over the next month. I just want the guys to interact. That's one way to do it, Taylor said via the team's website. I'm not overthinking it too much, but here's a way to create some energy and get guys up and active. It's December football now, and we need everyone to be at their best, need everyone to have energy when they walk in the building. That creates some competitiveness. That's about all there is to it. This is a guy who's about to get fired, and he knows he's about to get fired. This is absolutely, utterly embarrassing. I don't know what this—I'm not a Bengals fan, and and for this report like this, I'm glad I'm not, because this is just clown show at its finest. First of all, the notion that you need a ping-pong table in the locker room to bring competitiveness and an energy to a football team is just—is beyond idiotic, right? This is a Bengals team that has the players that know how to win, right? Two years ago, they should have gone to the Super Bowl. They got robbed against Kansas City, my honest opinion. Some people may disagree. That's my opinion. The year before that, they did go to the Super Bowl and were this close to winning the whole darn thing. These guys know how to win. They don't need a ping pong table or ping pong tables in the locker room to suddenly bring some energy and some competitiveness. Are you kidding me? What the heck is going on with Zach Taylor right now? This is a guy who has to know he's done. And I think when Blackburn sees this and the whole organization at the top sees this, they're going to look at this report. They're going to look at this and say, why are we? And when they look at their expenses, they're going to be like, okay, concession stand. Okay, uh, energy bill, uh, ping pong tables. Why are we paying for ping pong tables? And then Taylor is going to be like, well, it's going to help us win. Then they're going to be like, you're gone. That's what's going to happen. I think this is the final straw. I think Zach Taylor is gone. I think he knows it. This was a desperate, stupid move. Disappointed because the Bengals, I think on paper, are one of the best teams in football. They're certainly one of the more exciting. And this era of Cincinnati will come to an end. Zach Taylor needs to go. And I think this this report, and along with some others, is proof that he is pretty close to on his way out. Mize, I know you've got some stuff to talk about for this. But first, Cincinnati fans, in the comment section below, Give me your honest opinion. Do you think Zach Taylor deserves to be fired or not? I hear from a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys want him gone. Maybe there's someone out there with countervailing opinions, something that thinks things could go a little differently. Let us know what your thoughts are on Zach Taylor in the comment section below. But Myers, I'll throw it over to you now. I'm done with my rant. What are your thoughts on the Bengals and their head coach, Zach Taylor? Yeah, Nick, I think the direction you're going is a pretty good direction, pretty clear, because there's a few things that you know Taylor says in all of this it don't make sense to me. First, he's like, we want people at their best. Well, Joe Burrow is at his best. He's ranked number two in the NFL per PFF. T. Higgins is at his best. He's ranked number three in the NFL per PFF. Jamar Chase is top 10, despite probably being double teamed every single game. I mean, this is an offense that's at its best. This is a defense that has players playing at their best. I mean, despite some injuries, this is a team that you would be like, okay, you know, they're like seven and four, eight and three. They they lost some games due to injury. You know, this is a team that's struggling. You know, that's what you expect from this. Not a team that's four and seven. You know, it's just kind of abysmal. And, you know, when it comes down to those close games, especially the last couple of weeks, really tight games lost at the last second or to Chargers, to, to Ravens, those are games that are very winnable. 
that is the key here. And uh, you look at both Ravens games, both one score games, field goal, one point games, the Ravens, you lose. Those are games that they should be winning. And in my opinion, Zach Taylor alone, like you're essentially here getting a ping pong table to do your job. Your job as the coach is to boost the morale of the team. That's what he's getting paid to do. He's the guy that's supposed to do it. He's not supposed to bring in a ping pong pay- table to do it. And I, I, I agree with you. I think this is some sort of Zach Taylor feeling the pressure. And I have a little uh, quote from an interview he had here over on Fox 19. I'll bring it up and read it really quick. Kind of just highlights exactly that. When Taylor's asked, you know, does he feel the weight? Does he feel the pressure? He said, I feel it for myself. This is my whole livelihood. Taylor said one on one interview with Jeremy Roush on Fox 19. Every coach, every player, ownership, personnel, fans, we're all in this thing together. Our weeks are dictated by whether we won or lost. We all feel the same, so you're putting every second of effort, every thought that's on your mind towards winning and trying to find ways to win, you certainly feel a weight to that. Well, as a coach who's putting all of his effort towards winning, he feels the pressure and he's not winning. I don't know many coaches that talk about they're feeling the pressure, you know, things are mounting on them, they're trying to do everything they can to win when they think that they're going to have a job at the end of the season. It really kind of speaks to like what you said. It seems like Zach Taylor, he knows his time is numbered with the Cincinnati Bengals. It will be very shortly. They probably move on from, especially with the rate this season is going. I think it's kind of embarrassing. They kept it going this long just because this is a team that's been overperforming on all aspects of their players and their players, especially on offense have been great, but their coaching has been pretty, pretty terrible.